comments, all of you. I hope every one of you is doing okay. I hope every one of you is doing okay. Makes sense, but it means the same thing, doesn't it? So, as you can see from the title, I am going to be doing a different sort of video. So, it's not going to be a cover, it's not going to be a mental health related video. It's going to be about the baby names that I love. I just want to say that I'm not in a relationship and I'm not with anyone. So, I'm just going off by what the names, I'm just going off the names that I actually love and I have actually made a list on my phone ages ago of the baby names that I love because just got to get prepared for this sort of thing in life, you know, but let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start off with the girls' names and then I'm going to do the boys' names. So the first girl name that I really, really love is the name Esther. I absolutely love that name. Well, I first heard this name when I watched Home and Away, um, which is the Australian soap. And one of my favourite actresses was called Esther Anderson. And I just always loved that name. It sounds like quite a sporty name. So if I have a child and I called her Esther, my child could then be into sports. Because I don't know why, it just sounds like a sporty name. Like someone like who plays tennis or I don't know really. But I just love that name. It just, it's got such a nice vibe to it. Like Esther, Esther. It's really nice. It's a really nice name. The next girl name that I like is called Esme. I love this name. It's super cute. It actually sounds quite posh. Esme. Esme? Esme. Come on, Esme. <laughs> it actually sounds like a quite American name. It sounds like, because I don't really know many Esmes, like, where I live, but I bet if like you're in like America, I bet there's loads of children who are called Esme. But it's got such a nice ring to it, like I don't know, it's just it's it's short but it's sweet if that makes sense. The next name I like for a girl is the name Shelby. This one again sounds quite posh because obviously like Shelby I don't know it just sounds quite posh to me but I don't know if it is Posh, but you know what I mean. It reminds me of the name Shelley, but I prefer the name Shelby because I feel like Shelley is more common than Shelby. But I don't know, I feel like Shelby is something you would call like a tortoise or something. Like, oh no, is that Shelley? Shelley. No, I think you would call like a, I don't know, it just reminds me of like you would call like a tortoise or a turtle like Shelley or Shelby or something. The next name I like is the name Lola, and I know some people might think, why do I like the name Lola, because that's something you would call your dog, but I just feel like it sounds like a proper girly name, and I swear there's like a song which is like, her name was Lola, du, 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 du. her name was Lola, I swear there's a song which has got the name Lola in it, is it just me who thinks that? There's an there's definitely a song with the name Lola in it. The next girl name that I like is Naomi. I like how different this name is. I feel like it's not a strange name, but it's quite unusual because I don't know anyone called Naomi. Like, I like how quirky it is and I want my child to be quite unique. So yeah, I love the name Naomi and it sounds like quite a not a posh name, but it sounds quite... It sounds like what someone would call, like, a babe from the royal family, because it's quite a royal name, but I don't know. Is it just me? It sounds quite royal, but it could just be me. And the last name that I like for a girl is the name Tanya. And this is probably... I don't know if you would call a baby this, but I think when they grow up, it's quite like an older name. Um, so... Obviously, it probably would be quite weird calling the child Tanya. Like, come here, Tanya. But I think when you get older, like, it's quite a mature name. And I first heard this name on The Real Housewives of Cheshire uh, because there was a housewife called Tanya. I actually really love this name. It's so nice. It just sounds nice to say. And it's just such a lovely name, like, Tanya. It's, like, very simple, like... And if my child has to try and spell it, it's, like, not that hard to spell, like, T A N. Y A, like it's not even that hard to spell, like I don't know. 
Okay guys, so that's all of the names that I like which are for a girl. So now I'm going to tell you the names that I like for a boy. The first name that I like for a boy is the name Caden. I love this name for a boy. Like I feel like it's quite a common name but but because the name Caden starts off like the name Kaylee which is my name. I feel like it makes me feel more connected to my child if our name's quite similar. But I've always loved the name Caden. But I do like the name Jaden. But I feel like that is more common than Caden. Um, so I would like my child to be quite unique and quite different. Even though like it's not a very, very unusual name. Because I know quite a few people who are called Caden. But uh, I just think it's so nice. I don't know why. But Jaden is nice as well. Like Caden and Jaden, they're both nice to be fair. The next boy name that I like is the name Oscar. I feel like Oscar is quite an old fashioned name, but I do like the name Oscar. It does remind me of Oliver Twist, but wait, I've just completely mucked that up because he's called Oliver, not Oscar. Do you know what? I, honestly, I'm, I'm so thick. Like, I should have been blonde. Like, there's... <laughs> Wow. Even though like it's quite an old name like Oscar, I don't know many people called Oscar if that makes sense. And I feel like it's a very sophisticated name so I reckon if I have an Oscar he'll be very clever and he'll, I don't know, I feel like it's just, I don't really want to label people as like that but I just feel like if I have an Oscar like he'll be very brainy like but that's good. I need someone who's really good at maths and English and stuff like that because I'm not very good at it. Well, I'm good at English, but I'm not good at maths. The next boy name that I like is the name Bonnie. And I know Bonnie can be a girl's and a boy's name, but I think I do like it as a boy's name more. But I do like the name Bonnie because it's got a nice ring to it. And I don't know, it, it does sound quite an old fashioned name actually as well. Um, because once again I don't know many people who are called Bonnie but I do like that name Bonnie like it's got a nice no when you say it it's nice like come here Bonnie I know some people might call their dogs Bonnie well I don't know would they but then again I do like the name Bronwyn it reminds me of the name Bronwyn actually and I do like the name Bronwyn but I think you would call a girl Bronwyn because I do know a few people who are called Bronwyn who are girls and yeah so it reminds me of Bronwyn but I quite like the name Bonnie because it's like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like a sailor. I don't know why, it just reminds me of like a sailor. Like someone who's going to be in the Navy, who's going to be called Bonnie. I don't know. The next boy name that I like is the name Elliot. This name is quite a common name, but I do like this name. I feel like if I call my child Elliot, they will be quite popular at school. Because I feel like normally Elliot's are quite popular. I swear I'm starting to sound like Katie Hopkins, like judging people by their names. <laughs> I'm not even meaning to do that, but I just, every time I think of the name Elliot, I just feel like they're going to be, like, quite popular, and I don't know, because I think it's because, like, all the Elliots that I've known, they've always been quite popular at school, or in my classes, or you know what I mean. The next name that I like is the name Harley. I do love this name, and it does remind me of the name Harvey, but I feel like Harley is more different, as it sounds, like, more unique as... Not many people are called Harley. It actually reminds me of the Baby Biscuits and um, Farley Rusks. So it kind of links in, doesn't it? Because obviously Farley, Harley. So it does sound like more like of a baby name. But I do love the name Harley. It's, I don't know, I think it's really nice. Harley. Then again, it sounds like Kaylee. Well, Hayley. Harley, Hayley. And it's got a sort of ring to it. And the last boy name that I like is the name Brody. I absolutely love this name. This is probably one of my favourite ones. It reminds me of like an Australian name. Like it just sounds like you would call like an Australian baby Brody because it sounds quite like a surfer name. So so it sounds like someone who will be able to surf. I don't know. Just I can just picture a Brody with like like long hair with like a man bun and then they'd be going surfing. I could just imagine my child being called Brody and becoming a surfer. Like I don't know why, like I just have these images in my head. It's just so weird. <laughs> but anyway guys, that is all of the names that I love for babies. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it is somewhat different to what I normally do, but I had fun filming this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye!